Good afternoon, Pop Pops Bees. So, these are Pop Pop Swarm Traps. Last year, I got the idea of I needed more swarm traps. We caught 82 swarms last year. So, we do real well, well with the swarms. But I didn't want to build any more of the dedicated swarm boxes. You know, the Tom Seeley measurements coming about right here. Hold six frames, and then you have dead space or open space down here. To give you the B volume. And they work great. So I was sitting in here and I said, well, how about if I build a bottom and a top for my nuke boxes? I just drill a hole in my bottom nuke box. Then everything's still usable. I can put this on top of a nuke during the honey flow and I've got a top entrance. So everything's still usable. So the top is recessed. This is a five frame nuke. Holds five frames. When I set these local, I just put five frames in them. I put four brand new frames because swarms love to draw comb and I want them to draw comb. I can use comb. I'm a beekeeper. I love it. It's like gold. So I put four brand new frames in here and a drone. Spray a swarm commander on the top, then I'll freshen it up by shooting one in the door if I hadn't caught any bees in two weeks, which doesn't happen often. So, end of the season. Or if I catch a swarm and they're just big enough for a nuke, I take this box off and I set it on the bottom board. Put a lid on it, put another nuke up here, four empty frames and a, a drawn frame, and hey, we're good to go. We're ready to catch another swarm. So it works great. I do have swarm traps set further away that I don't make it to every day or I don't have somebody watching every day. So it may be a week or two before I get to them. In that case, I go ahead and put five frames in the bottom too. One drawn frame in the top, four empties in the top. Seal it up and you know, if I catch a swarm, they're gonna have the other nine frames drawn by the time I get to them in a week or two. That's just how swarms are. But this way, everything's still usable. You take this off, end of the season, set this on top of one of your nukes, open up the door. Now they've got a top entrance they can bring in honey. So everything's still usable. We're going to be selling these burnt and polyurethane for 110. That's the two deeps, no frames, top and bottom. They are available in a deep mop bottom and a medium super or medium box up top. If you're running medium equipment, you still get your volume, your open space below. They'll still move in. And then your frames that you're using are mediums. So now you just move them over to a medium hive or you set your medium super off, put another one on and keep rolling, which we do have those available. So you can get these into two double deeps or a deep and a medium. You can go with three mediums, which will give you the, about the equivalent that you have here um, as well. Um, those will run 110 unfinished. These will run 90 unfinished. Um, painted or burnt in polyurethane, they'll be $110. Pop Pops Bees, please like and subscribe. Y'all have a great day, and you know, maybe some of y'all that are handy, this will help you out. It's a heck of an idea, and it works. Please like and subscribe. Pop Pops Bees, funnybugbeesandwoodworks.com. Have a good day.